I thought it was the least I could do. The least you could do? I don't expect to put everything right just like that. I'm just trying to make a start. Put everything right. Urgent, you sounded panicked on the phone. Shut it a minute. Is that Kevin back at yours? You're gonna give him a doing? No, we're going to the cops. He's the one that's been attacking the girls. You're talking crap. Oh, Stacey Appleyard's just been done over in the park. What? Just now, I found her just now on my way to work, and Kevin was there and all. So you didn't see him attack her? It was him. Why would he go into the park and then come out the same way? Mm. Look, I wish someone would lock him up, but that don't make him a pervert. Oi, Seddon! I was just coming to find you, then. It's a coincidence. We were looking for you. I know who the pervert is. I've got a tenor, says it's you. And so does Stacey Appleyard. Lewis, why is Stacey saying that you're the one that's done it? Because she's a stupid cow. I told you I was only trying to help her. Model citizen, aren't you? Lewis Seddon, I'm arresting you on suspicion of indecent assault. No way, man. I've not you done not nothing. see anything. Oh, However, it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questions. And you do as well as stupid. I haven't done nothing. Anything you do say may be used in evidence. You're now under caution. Do you have any questions? Yeah, are you listening? It's now to do with me. Leave this one. Might say I'm innocent, honest. Lorna's put you up to this, hasn't she? You heard what I said, Tom. Why can't you just go? Well, you really think there was something going on between me and Stacey, don't you? No, I don't. I just need you out of here. And it's got nothing to do with Lorna. I just... I, I just can't find any feelings for us anymore. I'm too tired. It's a baby, isn't it? Oh, look, to be honest, Tom, the way things have worked out, I really think that losing the baby was for the best. Well, so this is it, is it? Well, after everything, Lorna, the baby, what? We're not worth trying for. I had a life before you, Tom. We had a life, me and the girls. Oh, and I've wrecked it. What, is that what you're saying? I'm trying to protect them. Protect them? What, from me? You're trying to protect them from me? You think that one day it's going to be one of them in my bed? No, don't be stupid, Andy. Well, I thought you loved me. I thought that's why we went through all this crap with Lorna, why we were having a baby. It was wrong. It never should have happened. We never should have happened. I don't mean that. I tried to tell you the day you married Lorna. All those times she slipped out of the room, I always meant it. You just wouldn't listen. It was wrong. All of it. And if you had to listen to me, none of this would have happened. Oh, is it? Oh, Tom! Lorna tried to kill herself. I lost the baby. Even Stacey's son Appleyard probably wouldn't be so messed up if it wasn't for us. Well, who's going to get her next, eh? Because I'll be damned if it's Chloe and Mika. You followed Stacy into the park, then you jumped on her out the bushes. Isn't that right? No. No way. So you're calling her a liar? She's all mixed up. And your teacher, Miss Campbell, she a liar and all. Cos she says she saw you lurking round the school last week. You stalking your prey by any chance? How many times have I got to tell you I was trying to help? It's Kevin Hurst, he's the man you're looking for. Well, she says it's you. And you don't have an alibi, Seddon. Well, neither does he. We're questioning you. Yeah, but while you're at it, he could be out there attacking other girls. And want this on record and all. I've told you who it was, and you have done that about it. So when he does set about another girl, you're out of a job, mate. So, what is it then, gents? There's been another attack. Oh, God. I don't understand. What's that got to do with me? Well, we have a witness. Claims you were there. Who? I can't tell you that, Mr Rust. <laughs> you're a bloody liar. It was Lewis. Him! I didn't want to say nothing in case you went mad. You're taking notice of a scumbag like Seddon. We have to take any information seriously. Seddon's got it in for Kev. He banned him from seeing our Maxi. He got her hooked on drugs. No, we never had done that myself. It's been running after running with him for months. It's been bad news for this family. Ask me. It's Seddon you should be questioning. Well, look, thanks for your help. Just for the record, Mr Hurst. Can anybody corroborate your whereabouts at 3.30? I was here, wasn't I, Patty? Yeah. 
We were here together. Mummy wasn't. What are you talking about? Of course he was here. No, you didn't get in till after five. Well, only one of you's right. Tell him, Patty. Kevin got in at quarter past, like always. Then we had a burger and then Kevin opened a couple of cans. You're bloody lying. You watch your mouth. I'm sorry, officer. See, Seddon's torn this family apart. I'm not your family. Anything to get back at a stepdad. After all he's done for you, Maxie. He's done nothing for me. I hate his flaming guts. Well, why are you covering up for him? I don't get it. You could be the pervert. Get up them damn stairs or you'll be back on the street, which is where you belong. manage another. Well, I'm here till closing, mate. Probably sleep on a bench, unless you've got a spare bed. Oh, she doesn't like guests. Especially if I bring them back from the pub. Drunk. No. Hey, why don't you apologise, Tizzy? <laughs> yeah, I've found that that's the easiest way for a quiet life. And so the lot of you. Who's there? Open the door, it's me. Anna, what's going on? Well, you got what you wanted, didn't you? Tom, will you just keep your voice down? Your best mate, she's kicked me out. You're like a couple of witches, the pair of you. It's nothing to do with me. Well, I'm on the streets because of you. Look, I'm sorry, Tom, but you're gonna have to find an hotel. Fine. Don't worry about me. I'll dot in a doorway. When am I ever gonna get rid of you, Tom Clarkson? Come on. Miss! Miss! It's just saying to Davina that uh, you guys maybe uh, maybe you got a lot more in common than you think. You just don't know it yet. The truth is, Ian, he thinks you spent each other. Sorry. Steph. Hello, Jack. It's a bit inconvenient at the moment. Yeah, well, this won't wait. It's important. You know the bloke who's been attacking those girls? He's on the staff. Girls flaming teeth. Who? OK, I'll be right there. Uh, listen, sorry, I'm going to have to break up the party early. What? You going to see her? I'm sorry, love. What's happened? I'll call you when I know more myself. Keep your mobiles on, both of you. Right, then. Enough and all. What about your food? I'll just get them to cancel it. I didn't expect us to be having dinner together. Unless you want to follow them out the door. No, no, I'm going to stay where I am. If you can stand it. I'm sorry for what I said the other day. Don't be. Truth is, I, I actually wanted to run after you and tell you how much what you'd said. I deserved it. It hurt, though. It but you didn't, did you? Then what? Run after me. Says it all, really. Well, I'm telling you now. I'm telling you that... that I, uh, that I care about you. But it's too late now.
Lewis Seven, you are being charged with the indecent assault of Stacey Appleyard. It's a film. I won't get believed by the police, miss. That's why I had to come to you. You believe me, don't you? Please say that you do. The police have already questioned him, Maxine. Yeah, but he barefaced lied to them, miss. Do you not get it? I am living with a pervert. And he works at Waterloo Road and all. This is in the bag he takes with him to school? Yeah. My mum lied to the police. He wasn't at home with her, like she said. Are you going to ring the police? Too right, I am. And if it turns out he's got any previous, I'm going to put the flaming director of education through the ringer about his sodding police checks. I always thought he was a creep, but never... If Mum's lying for him, do you think she knew what he was up to? Police. Chuck me out. Like that. For nothing. I never even touched that, Stacey, and she knows it didn't, so why? What's it all about, huh? <laughs> like I don't already know. She cares for you more than she cares for me. Maybe she knows something you don't. Like what? I don't want you telling anyone about this. But I've been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Bit of a shock, but hey, there are bigger problems in the world, like your sleeping arrangements. Back is your space. You books on the table. I'm the Nip it next to I've been to the library. This is all wrong. It wasn't even Tom's fault. You shouldn't have let her chuck him out like that. But maybe she'll calm down and change her mind. Brett, what are you doing here? I don't just want to be friends, Mika. I think you mean more to me than that. What about your girlfriend? What girlfriend? Want to come for a ride with me? Oh, sorry, but I can't. You're bouncing me. Uh, no. Look, there's just too much going on here right now. It's really complicated. OK. Well, no problem. See you around then, yeah? Yeah. Thank you for everything, officers. No problem. We'll see ourselves out. OK. Do you want a cup of tea, Max? Yes, what's going to happen? The police will take care of everything now. I bet you can't believe that any of this is happening to you, can you? You never liked Kevin, did you? Is that because... Maxine, did Kevin ever touch you? I suppose he knew that I'd tell Mum. But Mum lied to the police. He covered up for Kevin. If Kevin had come into my room, if it had done something to me, would she have done anything or would she just have let him? <laughs> What's going to happen to me now? I... Mum's lied for Kevin. She chose him over me. And now I've gone and shopped him into the coppers. She won't want to know. <laughs> I've got no one. Just chucking me out now. After we've missed my shift, probably lost my job. Well, don't blame me if you find me down this nick again. Stop it, Seven. What? And I don't even get a sorry. 